Good afternoon, UDA. I'm Jordan Zerby. And I'm Peyton Wenzel, reporting for Trojan News Network. Joke of the day. Where does a ghost go on vacation? Answer, Malibu. The Red Cross will be holding a blood drive here at UDA on Tuesday, October 26th from 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. in the gym. Student donors and helpers are needed to make this day a success. To donate, you must be at least 16 years old, weigh at least 115 pounds, and have parent permission. Please see Nurse Jane if you'd like to donate blood or help with the blood drive. NHS members, this is a chance for community service hours. Students, be sure to check out the UDA Student Information Center in Canvas for up-to-date information on items such as yearbook, class announcements, help desk tips, and more. A representative from Central Penn College will be here on Thursday, October 14th at 9 a.m. in room 109 to talk to students about their various degree problems. Central Penn is located five minutes from Harrisburg and Somerdale. Students in grades 9 through 12 may attend to learn more about Central Penn College. Please sign up in the counseling office or email Mrs. Nestor or notify your third period teacher. Reminder to all students wishing to ride the activity bus, you must sign up in the office by 12.30 p.m. each day. Life Skills will be holding their annual coat drive until Friday, October 29th. Please deposit your clean coats, mittens, or gloves, scarves, and hats in the box up in the lobby. All items will stay local. Make someone's day by donating your used coats. Thank you. Math tutoring is available during second lunch on Mondays and Fridays in room 115. You do not need to be a member of the club to stop in as needed. Just be sure to check with your normal club teacher before heading to room 115. Attention, NHS members, there are three community service opportunities available for you in the classroom. Any questions, please see Mr. Smeltz. The new October scholarship list is now available in the guidance office. The VFW is sponsoring their annual essay contest once again. The topic of the essay is America. Where do we go from here? All essays must be two to four pages in length and three to five minutes long when read. Entries will be judged based on content, originality, and delivery. All essays and recordings are due to the guidance office by Friday, October 22nd. Winners will receive cash prizes. Please stop by the guidance office for further information. The Student Council will be hosting the annual Halloween door decorating contest. Prizes will be given to the best overall, most creative, scariest, and cutest doors. All doors must be completed by October 29th, 12.16 p.m. Have fun, be creative, and let's get the school decorated. The FFA is holding a t-shirt design contest. The winners will have their art featured on the 2021 to 2022 FFA shirts and hoodies. Please submit your art to Mr. Dietrich and Ms. Wasson by October 15th. Sign-ups for the winter sports season are now open on your iPad. Please sign up for your winter sport team by October 22nd, 2021 to receive the proper forms and paperwork. Winter sports include wrestling, girls and boys basketball, winter cheerleading, competition cheerleading, archery, and bocce ball. To sign up on your iPad, go to self-service, click web clips, click install. After download, a number of apps will appear. Choose sports signups and choose your sport. Any questions, please stop by the athletic office. Now let's check in with Griffin Harmon with the Trojan Sports Network. The Trojan Sports Nation was busy over the extended weekend as the football team got things started off Friday night with another 40-8 clipping of the Susquehanna Blackhawks. The Trojans would amass... 314 rushing yards as four different Trojans would rush for over 50 yards. Will Wiskowski had a big night rushing for 95 yards and two touchdowns. He would also throw for another touchdown to lead the Trojan offense. Chase Grassmeyer had eight tackles, six tackles for a loss, and two sacks, while Dylan Johns gathered eight tackles, three tackles for a loss, and one sack to help lead the Trojan defense. UDA improves its record to 5-1 and one overall and 3-1 and one in the Liberty Division. The Trojans will host the 1-5 in five Halifax at home this Friday. On Saturday, the Lady Indian soccer team defeated Waynes Valley 2-1, to one, and the volleyball team defeated Halifax three sets to two. Saturday afternoon, UDA Aiden Falk Road earned a sixth-place finish in the District 3 Class A golf tournament and qualified for next week's PIAA state meet, which will be held at Heritage Hills Golf Resort in York. The Lady Trojan volleyball team hosted the league leader and rival Millersburg last evening. The teams will battle back and forth all night as the teams will be deadlocked at two sets apiece. In the tiebreaker set, the Lady Indians gained momentum early and took the set 15-7, winning the match 3-2. to 
The Trojans fell 2-4 and four in league play and 7-9 and nine overall. The volleyball team will be back in action tomorrow when they host Junietta. In sports action this evening, the boys' soccer team will travel to Susquehanna to take on the Blackhawks. Now back to Peyton and Jordan. For lunch on Wednesday, we'll be having Italian dunkers, steamed carrots, mandarin oranges, and low-fat milk. That's a wrap for TNN. Thanks for tuning in today. Have a wonderful three-day weekend. And remember, in the Trojan Nation, we are stronger together. together.